This video is sponsored by Riverside. Recording an interview over the internet doesn't always have to look like a chunky, compressed mess and sound like a warbly phone call. A few years back, for one of my videos, I interviewed the developer of the Halite camera app over a video call, and I was wishing for a better way to do this because there must be a far safer alternative than screen recording a Zoom call. Turns out Riverside had already been around back then, and it would have been the perfect solution for recording an interview with a remote guest. Riverside is actually amazing for a range of use cases. It's a platform designed for the purpose of recording audio and video over the internet. The service is probably most well known for podcasting, but it's also used for webinars and live streaming. However, Thinking from the perspective of a filmmaker, it just keeps manifesting itself as this perfect tool for high quality remote interviews. See, the problem with recording interviews remotely is how vulnerable the whole situation is to connection issues. If there's a dropout in the connection, you end up with a missing in the final recording. If either side has a slow connection, the image quality gets horribly affected. None of that happens with Riverside because it uses local recordings. Everyone who's in the session has their audio and video captured locally on their device, which gets continuously uploaded onto Riverside. This way, even if there are connection issues, the actual recording is unaffected. This also has the added benefit of everyone's audio and video being isolated as separate recordings, so there's heaps more flexibility in post. Just to illustrate how much of a difference Riverside can make, this is the sort of quality you would get if you were to simply record a conventional video call. This is the feed that has been sent over video conferencing, then recorded after it's been transmitted live. With Riverside, a live image still needs to be transmitted so the participants can actually see each other, but the recording you get after you close the session off is much higher in quality because it was recorded at the source. Now, you might think this would be rather tedious to set up because there's this local recording that needs to get uploaded, but in reality, there's actually no friction at all. The experience is exactly the same as jumping on a video call. Just like any video call, the host begins a session and can send invitation links to the guests. As the guest, you just open the link in a web browser and everything happens from within that browser. There is nothing the guests need to install. Once the host hits the record button, all that local recording and uploading happens automatically without anyone having to do anything else. You can keep an eye on the upload progress and once the session ends, all the recordings are already waiting in the host's Riverside studio. To show you what Riverside can do, I invited my friend and fellow tech reviewer Adam Lobo for a quick interview over Riverside with me, and he was really kind to take up my invitation. Hello, brother Adam. Thank you so much for doing this today. My absolute pleasure, brother. How have you been? I'm doing great. I understand this isn't your first experience with Riverside. Yeah. So what's interesting is that when I went for uh, Apple's WWDC, when the Apple Vision Pro was out, and I spoke to Dave Foody, one of the nicest YouTubers on planet Earth. I love Earth. that guy so much. I had this idea of talking to him and say, you know what, um, would it be okay that I do like a interview to, not like a conversation to go through the exact process of how it feels to have an Apple Vision Pro? And he agreed. So since he agreed, it was my duty as a research dude that I am uh -huh. to make sure that I get the right amount of softwares within my reach to make sure that I choose the right one. And then eventually Riverside came about and when I was doing all the research and the reviews and stuff, I immediately went into the subscription. I did not want to go for a trial and stuff because I had that sort of confidence. One of the main things that I absolutely love about the Riverside FM compared to others was the fact that it was so easy to set up. The link that you sent to me, I just copied it from my iPhone and put it on my MacBook Pro because of the universal clipboard. And immediately it, it, like, it, it connected within like seconds. That's why. It's just and like joining any video call, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So it, it's not complicated. You don't have to set up anything at all. I'm actually quite surprised at how little setup is required, considering how much goes on behind the scenes. So right now we're recording this interview, this little chat we're having. 
And behind the scenes, it's actually not just recording this feed that's being transmitted over the internet. It's actually recording a local copy of the video and audio and just kind of uploading it to the Riverside servers in the background. Especially when you're interviewing someone like Dave, the last thing you want to do is waste his time or like make it a stressful experience for him. Like, hey, Dave, can you make sure that you're also rolling on your camera and like a separate audio track? Then Google Drive it to me maybe later on, then I can sync it in post and all that. All that Riverside just does that without you even asking. I've been using Riverside not only for Dave 2D, I've been using it for a lot of video related calls with clients. Uh, it has been really great because how reliable it has been. I can drop a marker here because at this point, I really want to try that out. I'm going to share my screen because earlier what you mentioned about everything being on separate tracks, I believe if I share a screen or my window, it's going to live on a separate track. Of course, Final Cut Pro, we love Final Cut Pro. Uh, this is yeah. something I shot on my iPhone in Tokyo. Um, there's text here. And if I don't darken the top part of the footage, it's gonna, it's gonna mess up the contrast of the text. So I just kind of fizzle out that darkening here. And it's one of those little things I'm quite proud of, but never really comes to light. But that I believe will live on a separate track once I edit this Lovely. post, which I'm really looking forward to editing this later on, because I, I love how it transcribes everything for us. So the transcription is one thing, but speaking of transcription... As you're recording the session, there are a few super cool features within Riverside which really help make life easier. The script feature, for example, allows you to paste text onto the screen or just type some thoughts along as you're presenting. This is visible only to you and doesn't get recorded. There's a media board which lets you play audio or video which you've uploaded onto to the board. Just like the recordings of your screen sharing, this media will all get recorded as separate tracks. If you have an iPhone and a Mac, Riverside does work seamlessly with continuity camera, so that's a huge convenience as well. We're now having a look at what I've just recorded with Adam, and I'll open the recording up in Riverside's editor. It looks rather simple, but is actually very powerful. Again, this is all happening within a web browser. First thing you'll notice is Riverside has automatically transcribed our show in its entirety for us. Each speaker is color coded in the text as well as the audio waveform. This as a starting point already makes everything easier moving forward. Next thing you'll notice is something of pure genius, perhaps some of the best implementations of AI technology. We've got automatically generated chapters with a clear summary of what happens within. You can also modify or manually add your own chapters. And one thing that's incredibly powerful about this is how you can just drag and move entire chapters around to reorder them in the edit. You can also edit directly from the transcript and the words you delete will also be trimmed away in the footage. Another one of my favorite features is removing pauses. Whenever you see these dots in your transcript, those are pauses which Riverside has identified. You can click on it and just select delete or run a pass to remove all pauses. It then presents you with a slider to go between a natural or tight pacing. Natural means it will only remove the longer pauses while leaving the shorter pauses intact. If you're really trying to keep the edit as tight as possible for short form content, super fast removes all pauses. And especially relevant for short form content, captions with animated highlights are just a few clicks away and you get them instantly since the whole thing's already transcribed. And just in case there's an error in the transcript, you can correct it on the spot and it gets reflected in the captions as well. Over in the Tracks tab, you'll see all the isolated recordings and there's the option to disable a specific track entirely to exclude it from the edit. But having everything on separate tracks means you can customize the layout even after recording. It also makes it really easy for adapting the edit into different aspect ratios. The Riverside editor would even let you upload your own clips to be slotted into the recording. But if you prefer to take matters into your own hands and edit using an NLE you're familiar with, you can find the option to download the original raw recording for each and every single track. For times when speed is a priority, however, like you just need to get something published quick, there's a feature to have AI clean up your whole episode for you with one click. Or this is my favorite, the Magic Clips feature, which again uses AI to generate a few bite-sized short form clips based on what it thinks are the best moments from your recording. 
These are superbly well thought out features and I very much recommend you trying them out for yourself. You can get an exclusive 15% discount on Riverside by using my link in the description box and applying my name as a coupon code ZYCHENG at checkout. If you need to record anything over the internet, I cannot think of a more seamless way than Riverside to do it. Give it a shot and I'll see you around.